If you're about to remodel your kitchen and are totally lost on what to do, let me help you. I'm Lily from The Laying Cabinet, and I'm going to teach you what you do and don't want in your kitchen. I know cabinets are a big ticket item, so you might be nervous on what you're about to buy, but let me show you a couple common ones I have here. This is from a big box store. This is a Diamond Now cabinet, and this is an Ikea cabinet. We're going to take a close look at what we don't like in these cabinets and what we do like in our Lily Ann cabinet I have right here. So first and foremost, we'll start with Diamond Now. When we look at the outside, we have our five piece door. And I am not a fan of these lines. I think these lines make it look cheap. Over here on our Lily Ann cabinet, we're gonna see the five piece does not have the lines. This is giving us a sleek look. This is giving us luxury. Over here, we'll go back inside our diamond now. Inside, this is all gonna be particle board, by the way. We have staples holding this together. So if you have children grabbing dishes from in here, I'd be very, very careful. Not to mention this is particle board. So this is gonna swell like a sponge if you have a leak underneath your sink. We'll take a closer look here. I cut these cabinets, the shelves of all these cabinets apart so we can see what we're not seeing when we buy it. This is solid all the way through, but it is a particle board. This is not the best material to use at all by any means. This is to save money. This is not gonna last you more than a couple years. So if you're hoping to live somewhere for a couple years not replacing your cabinets, I would not go with a particle board. On the outside, we have a paper finish. This is what your cabinet's gonna do. Over here, this is very common. This is called a dado, but this is not giving us a lot of gluing surface. This is not the best way to keep a product intact. Over here, we have our plastic bracket, which obviously, since it's plastic, is not gonna be the best. Over here, this is not gonna be soft closing, by the way, so these are all gonna slam. And this is not gonna come all the way out, unfortunately. A lot of cabinets are made like this and you're losing space. This also is not too much room for all your silverware. In here, we'll shut this again. We'll move on to our Ikea cabinet. When I cut this one open, I was crazy surprised that it was cardboard. You definitely don't want cardboard in the kitchen. They do have some particle board on here as well, but this is something I would steer clear from Ikea cabinets. They definitely have a place for other things, but the cabinet, not in your kitchen. Um, we can see here, we cut this apart just to see what the door was made of. It's going to be a particle board, and lo and behold, it's already peeling off. This is also going to be a paper finish. This is not the same as these two cabinets are made, so I'm not really showing you apples to oranges here. But this one's also going to be a particle board inside. We knew it was hollow. But we didn't know why. We didn't know it was the cardboard inside of here, but lo and behold, it is. Also not soft closing. Over here, Lillian cabinets. Obviously, I would recommend these, but let me show you why. This is going to be a solid wood. This is going to last you. This is 10 sheets of plywood right here that we're working with. This is going to be very durable. I have my dog. She's only 15 pounds. It can hold a lot more weight than that, but this is what we're looking for. If we look here, this is a dovetail. This is what we want our cabinets to do. This is a lot of gluing surface, and this is really locking your cabinet into place. This is how a deadbolt is on your door, for example. So if you like the way your deadbolt works better than the turning knob, you would like this as well. This here, this is gonna be metal. If we open up inside, this is gonna be a beautiful natural finish on the inside. It's gonna be our natural wood. This one's birch, very solid. Not to mention there are no staples inside here. And over here we have a bunch of pre-drilled holes for our shelves to go on. And our six-way adjustable hinge. That way we can adjust this if we ever need to and it's gonna be soft closing. I am, am gonna have to wake up Luna from her nap, unfortunately, just so I can show you guys what we're working with inside here. Over here, this one's gonna be much deeper. We're gonna have a lot more space to store things in here. And this is going to come all the way out. You definitely want this to come all the way out in your kitchen just so you maximize the, your storage space. In the kitchen, we always want more space. Also, let's talk about how our cabinet is going to be held to the wall. We're going to flip around this way, and we're going to show you guys what we're working with back here. So back here, on our Lillian cabinet, we have our two sheets of pl plywood to hold this on. This is what's going to hold our cabinet to the wall, so this is great. We do not want our cabinet coming off the wall, and we want it to be sturdy. Not to mention, it is solid all the way through. We want a solid wood. This is what's going to last us. Over here on our IKEA cabinet, this one is going to be hung a totally different way. But this is what's holding this one together. We'll take a look right here at the back. Look how I'm moving it. 
This is a drum. That's our back piece. And this is ours. This is solid wood versus this thin, thin sheet. Again, would not recommend that. And on our diamond now, this is how we're holding our cabinet to the wall. Just this. Glued together, particle board on the back. We do not want a particle board cabinet in the kitchen by all means. So, you must be wondering if Lillian cabinets is 20 times the price, and let me tell you, they are not. Yes, it's pretty much a Mercedes car versus Kia cars, but what if I told you the Mercedes was the same price as this one? These are gonna be around the exact same price. We are a fact, or factory direct, and we're a family owned business, just trying to pass the savings on to you guys. So, this one is gonna be a very good price, very good quality. Our 12 step paint finish is gonna be on the outside of this one too. So this paint is on here well, 12 step. This one is our paper, as I said at the beginning, along with this one. So if you need cabinets, you know where to go, liliancabinets.com. And not only are our cabinets great, but our design professionals are even better. Our design professionals design kitchens for you for free. So if you have no idea what you wanna do, or if you do have a couple ideas, just let our designers know if they'll design the whole kitchen for you for free. I will link in a little picture of what it looks like as well in the video. And we also offer free samples. So you'll be able to see the quality of your cabinet with our free samples as I have here. So if you're interested, you wanna see the cabinets for yourself, go ahead, get yourself a free sample from our website and get yourself a free 3D design.